Hey, and welcome everyone to today's Power of 10, bringing you 10 powerful minutes of training and sharing that will expand your mind, improve your performance and boost your energy so you are performing as your best version. I'm Mary Ann Smith, I'm a personal transformation and business coach and I support ambitious women globally, how amazing is that, um, to step confidently into their CEO role, lead powerfully from their unique feminine genius and expand their wealth to not only be able to create the life they were born to live, but also to be able to have a fabulous impact on this world. So today's Power of 10 was inspired by a quote that I put up earlier today, which was all about looking at through the light in your eyes, to lead from your unique genius and in deep friendship with your shadows. Now, there will be a whole host of meaning for each and every one of us in that particular post, so do go and have a little look at it. Um, And I could interpret each one of those elements differently, to be honest. Um, But I'm just going to touch on some um, thoughts around each of those elements of that quote and just help you to deepen your thinking. Um, And I framed it today, um, this Power of 10, on how to use that quote to create more personal happiness and success. Because is that not what we're looking for? We don't want to be in business. We don't want to be going through life not happy. We don't want to be working all the time, chasing the end of the rainbow. And we want to feel success every single day. So let's dive right into this. Now, the first line the quote was, with light in your eyes. And you may be saying, Mary, what on earth are you talking about? Well, let's look at one part. Let's look at one view. What beliefs are you holding? What expectations do you have that might impact, be impacting what you feel and do. Because that's what happens, right? Because when we have our beliefs, our thoughts that have been embedded in us, have an impact on how we feel and what we do. That's fact. Do you know, if I have a belief that I am not worthy, not good enough, that's a popular one, that's one we all have, let's face it, then that will impact the way I feel about myself. And if I'm not, it might make me less confident, um, not wanting to put my voice out there, and then it will impact that I won't show up and share it with others. So if you think about as well, if we're thinking about in a a business um, context, imagine that you're holding certain beliefs about other people's. Let's say it's that all business people who shop at networks are wanting to sell you something. That's the belief that you have and you expect to be sold to, well, that's all you're going to hear. That's all you're going to see because that's the lens that you have. That is the light. There is no, that is the light that you have coming through your eyes. It's tinted. The lens is tinted and you may, therefore, the actions that you take, you might not go and approach people. You might dismiss having any conversation with somebody. You might judge what somebody says completely out of context because you'll be looking, our bodies always look um, to support the beliefs we have. It looks for evidence to support the beliefs we have. So, Your perception of the world is just that. It's a perception depending on the lens that you're looking through something. And a story I often tell very briefly is um, I had a relationship um, with a family member um, that wasn't great as I was growing up. It really wasn't a good one. And nothing they did landed well for me. And it didn't make me feel good. And it left me feeling really angry as an adult. Um, just with the way they talk to me and stuff Um, and it wasn't till later on in life when I'd done a bit more learning and reflecting on it I realised that actually that person wasn't trying to harm me at all they weren't trying to harm me I had this belief that they were and that's therefore all I saw in their actions 
they were trying to protect themselves. They were behaving with me in a way, the only way they knew how to, the only way life had taught them to. So they weren't showing up with intention to harm. They were showing up with an intention to protect themselves. And suddenly my anger shifted and in came compassion. And I then started to feel better. And then I took more positive action towards that person. And life was so much better. So the question around with light in your eyes today, folks, let me just get this, is to ask yourself, what lens do you have on your life? What do your internal voices say to you in your mind? Start to notice, get conscious with the chatter, with the language that you're using. And think about where did all that come from and what is the impact of it having on your life? Now, the next one was about leading from your unique genius. Now, if anybody knows me, I've got my genius CEO program. Does this have any surprise why it was titled as this? Over the course of my own life, I have come to describe my journey of harnessing everything about me, going deep to really understand my strengths, my loves, my potentiality, and harnessing it all into what I call my genius and living from there. So what does that actually mean? If you lead from there, it means that you are leading from a place. Every decision that you make is filtered through is that the right decision for me? Is that the right decision that will allow me to continue growing? Will it allow me to continue to transcend who I am now? Does it listen to my nervous system? Does it make me feel uncomfortable? If it does, then I know that that isn't something I should be doing. And I put in boundaries and I say no. I'm confident to say no because I'm really connected to this. So today I want you just to have a little thought about where are you leading from in your life? Are you finding yourself saying yes to things that you wish you'd said no? Are you telling people, oh gosh, I've got imposter syndrome and you're using that? It's a very modern word that because of technology and stuff. But do you find yourself feeling like I should be better? Do you know they're better than me? Is that, and then you're influenced by what other people are saying. Do you find yourself in business stopping because you're uncertain about whether it's right for you or whether you can do it? All of these are an indication that you're not leading from your true genius. And um, that journey into self is one of the big elements of what we do in the Genius CEO program and is why the women in there have such powerful results, powerful results for themselves, powerful results on the wealth that they create and powerful results in the amazing purpose-driven businesses that they actually create. Now, the third one is all about um, in deep friendship with your shadows. Now, you might think that is just cryptic. But, you know, it's so easy. How many times have you felt yourself persecuting yourself because you got something wrong? You didn't turn up as your best self. You screamed at the kids. You were grumpy with your husband. You judged somebody wrongly. Um, all the time you think, oh, you start to persecute yourself. And very often we can... Um, get consumed with that persecution and it just lowers our energy, lowers our self-worth, lowers our confidence. And today, I just want one of the big lessons I have learned is that we're all amateurs in this life. We are put on this earth to transcend the genius we were born with, to expand beyond it to something greater. And if you are have made a decision to do that, to do that with what you were given when you were born, then you will be, you need to fail. <laughs> you need to get things wrong to be able to get the lessons, to be able to learn, to be able to take different action. So the big message here is show compassion. Be compassionate on yourself and asking yourself today, how kind are you to you? How kind are you to you? you are going to get things wrong. And the thing is, if you're not using kind words on yourself, if you're not showing yourself compassion, truth bomb time, you won't be doing it to anyone else. You can only do to others what you do to yourself. 
Um, so hold that one, folks. So today was a bit of a, a deeper emotional dive, but this was all about, can you imagine if you made changes in each of these areas, what impact could it make on your personal happiness and your success in business? Because showing up differently towards yourself will mean you will show up differently to others. And let's face it, business is all about relationships. People buy from people. And if you're turning up with a bad vibe going on, people will feel it. All they'll know is something doesn't feel right, even if they can't consciously name it. So that's the power of 10 for today. And if any of this resonates with you and you got any value from it, and you feel that you are ready to step forward and learn more about this because there's a whole ton more to know beneath all of this, step out, pop me a DM and it'd be wonderful to hear from you. My Genius CEO program um, is open to applications just now and I'm holding my current prices until the 14th of February because I'm sharing the love. And um, Otherwise, you can check me out at maryannesmith.com and on all social media channels. So I will look forward to seeing you again soon. I am here on The Power of 10. <laughs>